So I've had this Tamron 150 to 600 for over a year now, and I immediately wrapped it in this camouflage athletic tape to blend in in the field a little better. And these are nice because you can get six rolls of them for $6. And if they peel and flake away like this one is, you can rewrap it and it's not expensive at all. The only thing is that it takes some time to rewrap it every time and also there are some downsides to it, such as it fades, it peels away, and it because of the fading, it doesn't blend in to whatever you're shooting in very well. So I thought of giving this lens coat wrap a try, and you can see right away, it's a lot more contrasty, and I'm hoping that it won't shift around on the lens very much because it has this pretty tacky neoprene backside. The other thing that I like about it is that it has these clear cutouts so you can read everything easily and also still access your switches pretty easily. With this, I noticed that I couldn't wrap this large piece because of the focus and also I would like to read and I still have access to my function buttons. Also, this backside where the lens tapers down you can't really get this to stay very easily because it's just an odd shape. So after a year of using it and taking it in and out of my backpack, I started to collect a bit of the material from inside and also disintegrate a bit from all the friction. And you can see here, it's starting to peel away also. So after a few months of using this, I gotta say this has been pretty great. Uh, as you'll notice, I don't have the wrap on the focus ring. Uh, I didn't like how there was no texture to it at all, so you can't really differentiate the focus ring between anything else. So I don't mind having just this little piece exposed. Also, I like how they provide the extra wrap for when you have the lens extended. So you can extend that and then slap it on, and there you go, fully covered. Uh, I don't use that because I am usually uh, hiking around, kind of running and gunning. I don't really want to take the time to have to Velcro this on and off. But if I were in a blind and I'm going to sit somewhere for a while, I would definitely use it. So it's great that they have it. Uh, another thing that's nice is they provide this extra piece for if you use the lens without the tripod foot. Uh, I use a tripod foot, so it's just a half sleeve but it's really great that they provide a full sleeve in case you want to use it without the tripod foot and they also give you uh, this adhesive strip for the tripod foot here which i'm using is really great um, one minor thing is i use just this blue sharpie to kind of help line up the orientation of the lens and the foot together and also, I did a similar thing on the lens hood because as you can see, it kind of covers that up. I have it pulled as far forward as I can to help see that a little bit, but it's just something to be aware of. It takes a little bit of time to get used to that. Also, for the switches, for this lens in particular, it's not a big deal at all because these switches are uh, left and right. But for other lenses, I could see it being an issue if they went uh, up and down. Um, luckily for me, <laughs> this is fine, but another thing to be aware of. One thing that kind of drives me nuts, even though it's dumb and small, is if you notice, the whole length of this is perfectly smooth. There's no stitching except for this one part. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, you can line up and perfectly get all these threads to match up, except for on this side. And the reason for that is because there's the cutout for the lock switch here. And no matter what you do, the threads have to be on this side. And you can't flip the threads because this one with the clear cutouts has to go here. You can't rotate this because these clear cutouts 
are different sizes. So there's a small one there, and then there's a larger one there. Minor thing, I know, but it kind of drives me nuts. Luckily, it's with a piece that you don't really interact with. It's not on like the zoom ring or anything. It's just on this one lock. So not the end of the world, but again, something to be aware of. As far as the uh, handling, these actually stay on pretty well. Um, this or all of these smaller bits are a little bit looser. They're easier to move, but you know, these aren't pieces that you would be moving typically. Um, like even with this, I can't really move this unless I put quite a bit of effort. You can see it just barely shifting a little bit, but no big deal. Uh, same for this. And this actually, the zoom ring is perfect. No issues there at all. So yeah, I actually really like this. Uh, I think it was worth the money. It's a lot easier to deal with than wrapping it like I was before. Uh, it looks better, it blends in better, and it also has the added benefit of it adding padding to your lens, so helps protect it as well. I haven't had it in rain, so I don't know if it'll hold moisture. That we'll have to see. I'll probably make an update video about that if there's any issues, but so far it's been great. So yeah, if you're considering about buying this, I would say there's not really many downsides. Again, it might vary on your lens. The only thing I could think of that would be annoying are these cutouts if your switches go up and down versus left and right like mine. But that's about it.